This video explains how to design your Fit Web Themes Business Edition website. So to get started, all you have to do is click this button, Customize Your Site, or head over to Appearance and click Customize. This will bring you to the Customization menu. To the left are all the different ways you can customize your site, and to the right is a preview of your website as you edit it. I'm going to start with the first option, Header. This adjusts the top header bar of your website. You can upload a logo or simply enter the name of your business as text. Enter in your address and phone number. And of course, you can change the color of the menu bar. Um, by default, the bar is transparent, which allows your image behind it to appear. Uh, you can, of course, change this by adjusting these sliders. The next menu option is social links. This is just a simple way to add social media icons to your header bar. Simply type in your URL and you will see the icons appearing on the top right. Design is where you can adjust design elements to your website like your font choice and font size. By default, we're using some pretty simple fonts that are easy to read but you can play around with it and see if there's any other ones that you like. The next option is called Section Order. This is where you can choose the various sections that will appear on your home page. As you can see, the home page is made up of several different blocks. If you want to take one away, like Photo Gallery, simply click on the eyeball and it'll disappear. If you want to add one, like email capture, also click on the eyeball. To rearrange, all you have to do is drag and drop it where you want to place it. Of course, these sections are empty right now because we haven't designed them yet. So we're going to do that next. Hero is the top section. As you can see, we've provided a few different pictures you can choose from. But I really encourage you to upload your own. A picture of your team or business location really works best right here. After that, you can design this bar that appears below the image. This is known as your hero because it's typically what grabs the visitor's eye. You want to put something important here, like a call to action that encourages the visitor to make a purchase. You can change the background color of this section, change the text color, and even change the button style. The next section is called Location. It's just a simple place to add directions to your office, hours, and contact information. When you insert a Google API key, you'll be able to make a map appear on your website. It's really easy to set this up. Just follow this link here and you'll get one in just a few seconds. Gallery is a simple image gallery you can use to highlight products or pictures of your team or office. Uh, you literally just click add new image here and add as many as you want. About is a section where you can add a paragraph description of your business or products. Um, again, this section is hidden by default. So if you do want to enable this, you'll have to head back and click section order. Testimonials is one of the more unique features on our theme. This allows you to easily add testimonials from customers about your business. Simply paste in the quote, add the attribute, and as an additional option, you can upload an image. This will automatically format a nice testimonial, and you can add up to five of these. Email capture is another optional feature. If you use MailChimp, you simply add your API key and list ID, and you'll add an email capture form. The footer appears at the bottom of your website. It's just a place to add extra text, links, or credits to your website. You can also add accolades, which are icons like awards, 
certifications, press links, or anything that helps promote your business. For example, if you got a write-up in the New York Times, you might want to add a link to this with a small image. Last but not least, Navigation Menu is where you design the main navigation menu for your website, which appears up top. Click on Top Menu, and then click Add Items to change what you want to appear up here. When you're finished, head to the top and click Save Draft. Then you can exit the customization menu by clicking on this X. You can always come back here at any time to finish working on it or to publish your site.